Oh, hi, shark. Hi. Hello. <laughs> what a welcome you gave me. All right. So, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. That shark is not gonna get me. Right. So, I'm back in here because I found mods. Yes, I know that some of the other YouTubers out there, like Dragast, for instance, he has, like, a whole bunch of mods. So, uh, this is not new to me, but it is new to me. Here we go. <laughs> This is basically all the things that you can uh, that you can load in, and you just click, and whoa, whoa, okay, okay, what happened? Um, okay, that's a big rock, but you can basically, <laughs> like you saw, oh, 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 what happened? Oh, oh, god, okay, down from there, what the hell? Okay, never mind. <laughs> but as you can see, you can basically place uh, place anything you really want. Um, Potato. Okay, that spawns a potato. Lighthouse. Oh, what? What? Whoa. What the hell? Okay. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in here. What the hell? Or can I even? I don't think I can. Is that supposed to be underwater, maybe? I have no idea. Also, the gradient out there, yeah, it, it has something weird going on. Uh, <laughs> with this building here, but this is really, really cool. Uh, another thing that I found out, and this is not, you know, including any of this stuff here. No, it is that if you go in here into the console and you type devtools.god, boom, then we, <laughs> we have become god in Stranded Deep. Holy hell. Um, I can't see a thing up here. It looks to me that it may, you know, it, it may be supposed to be underwater. Not quite sure. Uh, quite frankly, that entire gradient line out there, you know, the horizon. Oh, that's a plane! Oh, I want to go and get to the plane. Where the hell is the plane? Screw the horizon. Now the plane disappeared. What? Uh, okay. Not quite sure where I went, but okay, there's the lighthouse. If, if, I, if I just... Oh, crap, that's the wrong button. If I just deactivate... God, right there. Oh! Okay, well, uh, that was stupid. <laughs> but either way, since we're God and everything, and we also have stuff like... Frag grenades! I'm spawning a whole lot of those. And an AK-47, by the way. Um, yeah, and then we activate the... Uh, let's actually just pick this stuff up first. Uh, because once we deactivate God Mode, uh, the, the movement is very, very snappy. I will say that. So, devtools.god. And now, we are officially God. A very violent God at that. But, uh, hell to the yeah. So, okay. Everything got really quiet up here. But I have opted out of the betas. Uh, because I wanted to try to find some mods. So, the experimental branch or build or whatever right now is basically uh, put on hold for me but um yeah since we can spawn anything actually let me just uh yeah disable god mode again but since we can actually uh you know spawn anything i say that we can take a look in here what do we have spear gun uh, sign that's the land shark sign i love that that was like a, that was one of the first things I actually found as an Easter egg in this game before I started YouTube. Would you please, seriously? Okay, caution, land shark. There we go. Caution, land shark, which is quite nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a funny little Easter egg. Can we actually kill a lionfish or something? Because I know that's a lionfish. Okay, it disappeared. Let's try this one. No. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, it did disappear. Oh, oh, that's a, oh my god, I, <laughs> that scared the living shit out of me. That's a stingray, how about you? Aww, I kind of feel really bad. Okay, those, those right there, those are sea urchins, at least there's one right there. I can't shoot that, can I? No, I cannot. There are bigger fish down here in the, oh, I see a stingray over there again. Hi, stingray! I feel ill, that doesn't really matter. Hi, goodbye. There's a whole bunch of stingrays today. Oh, come here. Oh, man. I lost it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come here. Oh, 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 man. Oh, I'm about to drown. Oh, get to the surface. I'm about to drown. Come on. Yes. I got it. And the guy is not having an orgasm while he's going up under the water like before all the other updates. He was like, oh, oh, oh. That is a freaking plane wreck in here. Okay, so console, 
There should not be... Okay, well, I was just about to say there should not be that much loot on these. And, uh, well, I was right. Considering that there's nothing in there. Archer! Archer! Yes! I got him. Awesome. And there should be a toolbox over here where... Oh, okay, so we got the machete. Yeah, by the way, the machete is fucking useless. I'll say that right now. Sorry about the swearing. There's another shipwreck down there. Huh. Um, yes, the machete... God, it's useless. It, it may have more durability than the crude axe, for instance. You know what? Let's just check this out, actually. I'm gonna go down here and take it either way, even though it is... Oh, I have to... Uh, yeah, let, let's drop the paddle because I'm only... I'm only sort of testing stuff out and messing around here. I'm not actually trying to survive. But if you guys want me to do a survival series, uh, I'll definitely do that. So just comment below and let me know. But I'm gonna test out the comparison between these two weapons right now because... Whenever I saw a playthrough on YouTube with uh, with Stranded Deep and, and, and they were all picking up the machete, I was like, why? Why are you doing that? You don't need to do that. <laughs> you just need a crude axe, which is like so much better. We're gonna craft a crude axe. Very nice. And uh, yeah, drop that there. Don't really need that. Here we go. So let's go over here and check it out. The machete actually takes 11 hits. So one, two, three, this is gonna take forever. That's five, six, seven, I hope they may have updated it. Nine, ten, eleven. No, okay. So it takes around the same amount of time to, uh, you know, to, to, to bust open the trunk, so to speak. And here is one, two, three, four, oh, this is so boring. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, so the crude axe is better. I don't care if, if you know, this machete has a better... Actually, it, it doesn't really seem to be that much better in durability. Um, it is a strong cutting tool, so it has a bit more durability. But a machete should definitely do more damage than, uh, than a freaking crude axe here. Anyway, we need the beachfront property over here. And I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out, but I guess we're just going to go for it. So... Foundation, aha, and this one I can place, which is quite nice. Right, I'll be back whenever I have the skeleton of this of of, uh, of this entire thing ready. <laughs> okay, guys, I've made a huge mistake here. I was actually about to. Uh, oh God, please let me pull the raft out. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Yes, I got it. Perfect. Let's just go over here. Don't want to get over there. Nope. No, you do not. Right. So I basically clicked. Um, Click the uh, the raft, the foundation raft. You do not want to do that. Then it just spawns a raft inside of this thing right in front of you that goes absolutely crazy. You do not want to do that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my home. This is, uh, yeah, what I built. <laughs> here we have a little storage space, which is very nice just for anything over here as well. So this is kind of a divided up section in a way. Uh, here is the living room. Not much yet. <laughs> And uh, there probably won't be anything until we continue the series. Here we have the back door that leads out here. I kind of need a few steps here, but that's not anything too important right now. And when we go up here, we have the bedroom, which is uh, sleep. Yes. And uh, I was actually trying to uh, put the bed over here, but I don't want to fall down here whenever I actually <laughs> go to sleep. I, I know I can't do that, but still, either way. And here we have a little terrace or like a balcony or whatever. Not quite sure. It would be awesome to have some uh, some kind of uh, ladder up on the roof. I guess that's going to be added uh, sometime in the future. But yeah, now I have a small uh, small cabana, <laughs> which is quite nice. Uh, there's two stories, um, and obviously I used this for it. Like I had the bed, I had the foundation, and the roof steps and support and wall and door down here and the window and everything. So it's a really nice editor, and it, it really saves a whole lot of time. On buildings so you don't have to chop down the trees or whatever you can just simply spawn anything and uh, yeah it fits <laughs> so that's quite nice so you know what I'm gonna close my home or at least the doors to my home oh, that's that's kind of awkward okay either way that's just because the uh, the foundation is missing right but this is sort of where I'm gonna wake up uh, the next time that I'm gonna go into stranded deep so if you guys want to see uh, more of this leave a like and a comment below, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely deliver more. So thank you everyone so much for tuning in to Stranded Deep once more. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.